Hey there, I want to show you how you can get really good results using AutoTune in FL Studio for your vocals. Now, AutoTune is a very easy to use pitch correction plugin that you can use to make your vocals sound a lot better, especially if you have problems hitting the right notes. And even if you hit the right notes, AutoTune can give you that polish, that pop vocal polish that you hear on most songs. Trust me, 90% of artists that you like definitely use AutoTune in their vocal recording sessions, their mixing sessions, and even in their live performance sessions. So there's no reason why you should not also know how to use this correctly in your own vocals to get that results that you want. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get really good and consistent results with just a few single steps when you understand what these key um, buttons do, these key features in FL Studio. Once you understand how they work, trust me, you're going to get really, really good results. All right, if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So we're going to start out by linking our vocals to um, the mixer. Now, if you do not have vocals to work with or proper vocals to work with, we now have vocal sessions on our website, sc2tutorials.com. You can get there, you can go there and get vocal sessions like this song, for example, with the stems and everything comes in um, the pack. You can get, I think we have about four different vocals right now. Um, you can get any of them, you can preview them and get the one you want and use for your practice. I used to learn your mixing and mastering, okay? So let's get into it. So right here we have uh, this song. Um, let's listen to it from this point. The most important thing with auto-tune is no matter which mode you want to use is make sure you have the key correct okay get the correct key now to get the correct keys now this um, project file most of our project files comes with the um, correct key and the tempo so you don't have to stress but to find the project key i mean open your browser and go to this free website called tunebats.com forward slash analyzer and you simply drag your bits in here okay and you can see f minor okay so that is the key now, AutoTune, if you're using the um, AutoTune Pro package, it also comes with Auto Key that you can use to detect the key of the beat. I do not really use that much because sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't give you the correct key in my experience, okay? It's not 100% reliable, all right? But if you have that, you can try that. So when you find the key of your song, remember F minor and F major are two different keys, so please do not confuse it. So make sure you are using F minor, okay? Not F major, not F sharp major or F sharp minor. It has to be F minor. I'm going to come right here, F minor. And then now the input type is also very important because different artists have, you know, different vocal register, okay? So for this guy, I'm going to give him the classic low male. Most male artists you work with are going to be in the low male section, unless if they have like a higher pitched voice, right? Especially if they pitch high a lot, then you may want to consider trying um, the auto tenor or the soprano okay but low male is what i'm going to use for now and auto tune is really really easy to use okay you see what really matters for most times when you're trying to tune vocals is what are you trying to get are you trying to get a natural tune voice that doesn't sound like it was processed by auto tune or are you trying to get that characteristic pop sound that shows that you used auto tune okay so there's really no wrong um wrong decision on what sound you get from auto tune it's all up to you and the vibe you're trying to get okay so for example if i increase the routine speed routine speed is just simply telling auto tune um i have a lot of parts of my vocal that are off key so please try to correct it okay try to bring it down to the correct key within f minor okay so that's what the routine speed is simply doing like how fast do you want it to bring it to the correct key key or to the nearest correct key in F minor, okay? So the next thing we also want to take note of is the more we increase it, the more robotic it sounds. For example, if I were to solo this vocal. Now you, sound, you can hear that it sounds more robotic, more auto-tuning. Again, like I said, if that is your vibe you're trying to go for, no problem. But if you want to go for a more natural vibe or a less obvious auto-tune vibe, we can also arrive at that result. But now let's assume you recorded an artist that has that's all over the place um key wise you can't really re relax this so much because it's going to keep being off key okay so let's assume your artist is a terrible singer you know it's all over the place then you may want to increase this tone sometimes even all the way up to zero okay but the consequence is when you increase it up to zero you start sounding robotic yeah. Make a call for like it, 
To me wa chedi ma Fatima Make a call for like a tunuke To me wa chedi ma Fatima Make you go to the places you never go before Make you do So you can hear that when it's relaxed it sounds less robotic when it's up there it sounds more robotic okay but if you have vocals like i said that are poorly um sang that the artist is just all over the place with the key trust me you want to take this as high as possible but now how do we recover the natural vibe of the vocal that's where flex tune comes in okay you can simply increase the flex tune to recover the amount of naturalness you want in the vocal okay so for example if i take it all the way up here here it sounds now make a call for like it okay to me wa chedi ma fatima make a call for like a tunuke to me wa chedi ma fatima make you go to the places you never go before mm -hmm. make you do all the things we will never do before so you can hear this button actually reduces the amount of that robotic auto tuneness okay so if you have an artist that's all over the place and increase the return speed all the way up here or even maybe you know i'm um, seven anything below nine you typically get that auto tune vibe okay so if you if you take it all the way here you just simply use your flex tune use your flex tune to adjust to your own taste the level you want the um auto tune to sound all the way up here means you want to be very natural while anywhere in between means you're trying to find a good spot between having a little bit of that effect sound and having it sound um robotic okay so if i had to leave it here make a call for like it okay to me wa chedi ma fatima make a call for like it okay this is how it sounds when i turn off the auto tune make a call for like it okay to me wa chedi ma fatima make a call for like it okay to me wa chedi ma fatima you can hear that fatima uh, sounds you know a little bit off key but with the auto tune it corrects that even some other notes sound more on key with it make a call for like it okay to me wa chedi ma fatima make to me wa chedi ma fatima make to me wa chedi ma fatima make a call make to me wa chedi ma fatima so you can hear why it's important to you know get the key correctly and use this button so when you get a good hang of using these two buttons trust me you're going to have a lot better results with auto tune okay so the next problem you most likely face after you know getting these two buttons to work well that you like there are some artists that have vibrato where they sing with like kind of like a shaky voice a little bit also you can try to sometimes either ex over exaggerate it or try to kill it okay so the way we can preserve that is by using the humanize okay so using the humanize preserves some of the expressions in the vocals so if i had to press play okay when it's up here when i turn it off you can hear how that sounds more on key without killing the if I take it out the R doesn't have that much shakiness anymore it just sound when it's when the humanizer is down here it tries to flatline the um the expression there when it's up here you can hear it like with more waves now now i'm not trying to say you should have this on 100 every time you can you adjust it to the level you want and try to listen to your vocal parts that has those vibratos those um expressions to make sure that they are preserved that's one of the elements that makes your song more human like more um interesting to listen to so to me wa chedi ma fatima make you go to the places you never go before mm -hmm. make you do all the things we will never do before ba, ba, ba. so if you come here mm -hmm. make you do what mm -hmm. if i take it out mm -hmm. make you do all the things we will never do before turn it on Make mm -hmm. you do all the things we will never do before. That do before. We never do before. When it's out. We never do before. We never do before. When it's on. We never do before. So it helps preserve a little bit of the expression. Now, these are just, you know, little nonsense that you have to be very much 
aware of it, especially if you're trying to get, you know, well-tuned vocals, okay? You can't just jack up your auto-tune and then, you know, have it correct the whole thing. While it may sound corrected, you know, technically, but you are losing the expression from the vocals. So you have to listen across to, you know, the different, especially for the lead vocals and wherever they have harmonies, you have to listen across to make sure that everything is sounding really good and the expression is not lost, okay? Even if it's off-key, try to make sure you do that, um, humanize button you adjust it to the level you like again unless if you want a robotic vibe or you know that classic or to tune vibe then you know you can you can ignore the humanize button okay so make a call for like it make a call for like it and okay make memories tonight memories don't die memories don't die memories don't die this was also go memories don't die yeah, yeah. memories don't die yeah, yeah. Memo, memo, so you can hear this part now memo, memo, when auto tune is off memo 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 and if i take it out memo memo you can hear that it's way less expression it tries to flatline the whole expression try to keep it straight memo memo when it's up here Memo, memo, and just like that you've got in well-tuned vocals again like i said you can get this vocal project file and other vocal project files on my website sctutorials.com you can click the link in the description or the um, products in the video you can get the vocal um project files and learn your own mixing to get better in mixing or even maybe you're trying to learn production you need to learn how to make beats around vocals you can also get the project files to learn how to make beats around vocals okay so if you found this helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials tips and tricks